To talk about systems that survive without being more specific can be confusing. To the left is a viable system having a well-defined structure. To the right is a complex adaptive system. Complex adaptive systems have been studied mainly by the Santa Fe Institute using high-speed computers and sophisticated software in an era called artificial life that began in Los Alamos during the development of the atomic bomb. Viable systems come from the biological studies of British cybernetician Ross Ashby and Stafford Beer's application of cybernetic laws and principles. Stafford Beer's definition of a viable system is a system which is capable of an independent existence, such as a baby, a horse, a country. You can watch other YouTube videos to learn more about how the viable system model works. The purpose of a complex system, says Beer, is what the system does. Viable systems, as well as complex adaptive systems, show purposeful behavior. They survive, but they do this in a fundamentally different way. Let's look at the viable system first. It includes an environment, an operation that produces things that are exchanged with the environment, and a management where intelligent decisions are made. Every system or operation can be a process containing other systems or operations. This can go on as long as it is practical to continue making distinctions. System, process, and operations are sometimes interchangeable and each one has its share of environment and management. Guided by the management, the process transforms the inputs coming from the environment to rebuild itself continuously. The process exchanges inputs for products, goods, or services with its immediate environment. To survive implies learning or changing the strategies to deal with changes in the environment. Viable systems have a sense of identity that guide the management. This graph shows how two layers or recursions of the viable system are connected. What is a complex adaptive system? Complex adaptive systems are defined as those that have a great big number of autonomous adaptive agents or populations of agents that seek to survive and make prediction difficult. Populations are collections of agents and sometimes strategies. Here is a population with three types of agents. Complex adaptive systems, such as this one, are made of many different agents with many different strategies, or even populations of agents or combinations of both. The border defines the space where agents interact. Let's, let's look closer. Here a red ball represents an agent. The blue square represents the agent's strategy. Agents can also possess tools or artifacts or amplifiers of some sort here represented by the green arrow. Agents can be viable systems themselves. Agents may be grouped into types, into populations according to any or several of their characteristics. For instance, all these people are agents in a population of moviegoers within the entertainment complex adaptive system. White cells are one type of agent in the immune system. Banks are agents in the banking, finance, insurance system. Agents can have very different survival strategies. A strategy is a conditional pattern of action that indicates what to do in every circumstance, also the way an agent responds to its environment and pursues its goals. Strategies are usually if-then rules. For instance, if A happens, then I do X. If B happens, then I do Y, and so on. An agent playing blackjack will say, if I have 11 and the dealer has a 6, I double down every time. If it looks like rain, then I bring an umbrella with me. Artifacts, such as umbrellas, for instance, help agents to survive and have successful relations with other agents or populations. These two guys are supposedly two computer-generated autonomous agents. Interaction patterns or regularities can take place in a physical or conceptual space such as the one described by computer software. Some people consider a free market economy as a complex adaptive system. Others say it is part of a viable system. Here we see three systems embedded in a larger viable system. So, how do these complex adaptive systems adapt? 
They do so by selection. Populations change or evolve through births, deaths, migration or immigration. Change is usually slow. Sometimes agent will reproduce. Copying is the most primitive and simple birth process. Here we see how the white strategy is adopted by other agents. In this sequence, we see adaptation by birth. Death may also accelerate the adaptation. Here, only one type of agent survives. A mutation is a copy containing an error, but is a possible source of adaptation. Mutations help agents adapt to a changing environment. Exploitation is the copying of the best proven types. Adaptation is a process of selection that leads to an improvement according to some measure of success. Adaptation and survival are in a seesaw balance of exploration and exploitation. You survive by exploiting your environment, but in the long run, you remain alive by adapting through exploration. Variety increases the capacity for exploration. Variety decreases the ability for exploitation. This creates a very interesting feature of complex adaptive systems. Exploration is the creation of unproven types. Exploration obeys the logic of successive approximation, trial and error. Exploitation relies on known solutions, exact application of knowledge. From the moon, the astronauts saw Earth as a living cell that requires our care. This cell is populated by billions of beings, all seeking to survive. Now we see the Earth as a gigantic ecosystem. Everybody's home. Millions of interconnected ecosystems, for instance, people with cities, countries and governments, animals connected with plants, trees, forests, and monarcha butterflies, cells with tissues, organs, immune systems, brains, computers, etc., workers with businesses, markets, and internet, and each one of these connected to all the rest. Here is a graphical description of the components and structure of a complex adaptive system. A country can be considered as an autonomous agent that seeks to survive as other countries try to do so too. The strategy of a country are its constitution and its laws. These provide behavior rules for the state and for the government, which in turn control the strategies of individual citizens. A country can also be a complex adaptive system itself, and every citizen an autonomous agent. Changing a country has two options. You change agents, or you change strategies. Complex adaptive systems and viable systems shed light on the current economic crisis. Free market economies are cash-oriented, every agent out on his own. Consumers shape economic output. Business autonomy translates into massive risk-taking. This paradigm accepts deaths, births, and mutations of companies as Darwinian evolution. In the VSM solution to government, markets are stabilizers of the economy, but the consumer is not supreme. Business autonomy is relative and massive transparency and information processing allow intelligence to predict situations and solve problems before they happen. Sick organizations easily turn into complex adaptive systems where everybody is concerned with their own welfare and temporal alliances create wars. Escaping from the caste attractor at a national economy level won't be easy, even though the VSM can maximize freedom and intelligent choice at the same time.